All right, welcome back everybody. Well, today is a great day for two reasons. One, today is the day you're going to learn how to play American Girl by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, just like you know it on the record. And two, because it's going to address a long-standing issue with this channel that I've had since I started it two years ago, which is an alarming lack of Tom Petty content. So we're going to start addressing that today. He is definitely one of my favorites, and Mike Campbell is one of my favorite guitar players ever. And um, I'm just sick of not doing Tom Petty stuff. So get ready, because there's going to be a lot over the coming months. You're welcome. So today I'm going to cover the rhythm guitar sections and all the little lead parts and noodling that goes on. Um, I listened to this uh, really closely with some fresh ears, and there's actually a lot of little things going on that I um, didn't totally, totally get. So we're going to go through all of that. I'm actually going to show you how they play the live, how they end the song. They have this great jam at the end when they do it live, and they've been doing it the same for whatever, 30, 40 years until Tom passed. Um, but we're going to close it out with that. Okay, if you like this kind of thing and you haven't done so already, I invite you to jump down and click subscribe and ring the bell. The bell will let you know every time I drop new content, which I do every single week. Um, all my videos have chapters in them, so you can jump right to the part of the lesson that you want to see and bypass what you don't. And if you're looking for other ways to support the channel, I really appreciate that. Um, there's thanks, which is a button right below, just like throwing a tip in the tip jar. Or you can join my Patreon page where Patreon members uh, enjoy benefits like uh, chord charts and tabs for all the songs that I do on YouTube and some um, exclusive content just for them. So all the links are in the description. Check it out. Okay, so American Girl. This is uh, one of their early, early records and probably one of their most recognizable ever. And um, we're going to go through this. So let's talk about sort of the overall sound um, that I'm using on here, how I'm getting the tone I'm getting. So um, I'm using my telly, um, obviously, and I've just got a little bit of light overdrive on it, and I'm running into some Fender amps. I've actually, I'm running stereo out into two Fender amps, which you don't have to do, um, but this is just very straightforward. Any old amp that you got, you know, if it got a decent clean sound, dial that up, um, pull a little bit of the mids out and put some a uh, little bit of dirt on it and it'll sound great and you just hike up the volume a little more when you want to play lead but that's that's what's great about a lot of Tom Petty and Mike Campbell stuff that's so much of their sound and that's all I got going on here I think I got a little delay I got a little echo on there just for a little something but I don't think that's what's on the record but we'll enjoy that today won't we okay um so the chords, uh, so on the record, when you listen to it and then you sit down with a standard tuned guitar, you find yourself going, what? Because the song is a little bit sharp of D. Um, and I think they probably just, I wonder if they just sped up the tape on the final master recording, but it's actually technically not classically in D um, pitch. Uh, but I'm sure they recorded it in D and we're gonna play it in D. All right, so uh, the chords that we're going to talk about in this song are, it's like the eight days a week chords. So it's D. Oh, dial back that dirt. D. E. Major. G. And A. That's the first sort of part of the verse, right? And that's the same thing as... same as eight days a week this you know is true um and then the uh second part of the i guess it's the pre-chorus um it's a d g to e minor bend to a chorus is G, A, D, B minor, G, A, D. 
So just in terms of a rhythm guitar, I've got way too much dirt on <laughs> compared to the record, but in terms of the chords, that's it. All right. The only other sort of part that's different is uh, the little breakdown that happens um, where it goes uh, sort of right before the guitar solo, um, but it's G. Right? And you chromatic up to an A to the D. Could just be single note. Right? And Mike does his little lead. But we'll talk about all those little lead parts. So that's Tom, or that's what's happening underneath um, when Mike's doing his little lead stuff, okay? So that's all of the, those are all the rhythm chord stuff that's happening um, throughout, so. Um, all right, so let's get on to some of the leads. So right off the bat, this song kicks off with Mike Campbell doing this great octave thing. Um, and it makes you sort of sound like it's a 12 string going on, but it's not at all. Um, he's going to let the D string open. He's going to fret the G string at seven. So that's an octave. And then he's muting the second string um, with one of his fingers and he's fretting um, his pinky up here on the first string at 10. So you got, you got all three of those going at the same time. So when you strike your pick, um, you're only getting from strings four to one. And if you're clever, you can lay your finger over strings five and six to mute those. So you can hit it as hard as you can and mute the second string with your index finger and there you go. And you get that sound. And the song kicks off. All right, so while that's going on, there's this other little guitar that's going on that's a little hard to hear in the mix, but it's just somebody taking a, uh, you're, you're on the fifth string and you're sort of sneaking into the, from fourth to fifth fret on it, going to a D note, and then you're gonna let the D string, the fourth string ring. Hear that? You might be able to hammer on it. But while this is going on, This starts coming in. All day long. <laughs> Just another way to get a, another D note uh, in unison on there. But so that happens under. So now when uh, he starts singing the verses, remember those verse chords are D, E, G, and A. Now on the record, it's very hard to tell much in the way of rhythm guitar that's going on. It almost sounds like there's just... And it's super low, super low in the mix, almost like it's not there. Um, there's something there, but it's hard to tell exactly what it is. But while those chords are going on, what Mike plays as sort of a complement lead, if you will, on top of that rhythm is um, he plays uh, octaves and like a fifth. So um, the first chord is a D. first one, then an E, Just slide it up two frets, G, to an A. And that's super cool. You can even get that open D string in there with it.
you know. Very cool, cool little thing. I used to play it this way. Which I guess note-wise is the same. That one you can't get the open D. And on this video, by the way, that I'll link right here, um, I should say, well, I mean, you could go right to Mike himself and watch him talk about this song, but right here, he, he plays it this way. So I got to go with his word that that's how he plays it, but... And then after all... Just playing those little pieces of chords. Oh yeah. All right. Take it easy, baby. And then he comes in with this great B minor. Right? So that's all of those parts. Now on that little breakdown, the G to A, you hear this, that's Mike. So there you go. And uh, yeah, so then it gets to the sort of main guitar solo part. Um, and the guitar solo is soloing over the, the verse chords, the, D, E, G, A, that formation, right? So the first part of the solo is just a piece of a D chord um, followed by a piece of an A chord. And when I say a piece, I mean, think of this shaped D chord, your regular cowboy shaped D chord, but it's up here on the 14th fret. But you're just going to play that part of it, strings one and two. And then there's your part of an A, right? So that goes over the first three chords. So D, does that make sense? That's a D shape over, over a D chord, but then the chords go to an E. Still works. A G. Makes it a G major seven, I guess. A. That's what's gone, going on underneath it. And then he repeats that again. Um, but the interesting thing I found out, I thought I heard this on the radio, and I just listened to it real close when I was uh, getting ready for this video, is um, there's actually two guitars going on. He's got it double-tracked. Uh, he does two takes of that. Um, so one guitar is in one ear, one side, if you're listening on the headphones, one side, one is on the other. And this part of the lick... That that's actually two guitars. One it goes dun. So one guitar is doing this. And the other guitar is doing this. Right, so of the first two, you know, those notes where you're, where you hear that, one, one guitar is hitting that first one and the other guitar is hitting the second one. And they're laying off the other. So they're not quite playing the same thing all the way through. All the other notes are in, are in unison. They're both doing, they're doing those three. And then they trade. Ma -ma. Ma -na. So anyway, give that a listen. Kind of cool. Um, and then it goes to the speed part. Oh. 
man, this takes a long time to get it under your or to get under my fingers, and I still don't think I'm there. But here is how he is playing this um, this speed lick again over the D to E to G to A. Um, what he's going to be doing is you'll see it over my shoulder. Um, the trick on how he plays it is he holds his pick. It's going to be alternating between a pick and a finger. So on, if you look at the picking hand, you can see that alternating. And that's pull-offs down here. So that pick is just riding that third string and your finger is doing everything on the second string. That's D, slide it up to E. When you get to the G, it's a little different. Right? So it's a little different formation than what we were doing normally. And I was doing it forever until I saw that Mike Campbell video. I was doing this. You know, the same shape. But that's not right. Or at least that's not how he plays it. He plays it. So that note there. Which makes sense because... If that note was there, that it's sort of a D7. And that's sort of nowhere in that. It's sort of nowhere in that progression. So really cool that he that he wove that in. And then over the A, it's the back to our original formation. through that twice and man that is so fast oh I can't do it and I have to do that little pause to give me a chance to get up here and I don't know if he pauses or not ah But holy cow, it's greatness, right? Awesome. All right, one last time. Let me do it a little slow. It starts with the high note. You get the idea. Holy cow, that's so cool. All right, now I wanted to show you this. And, and on the record, that's where it fades out. He just runs through it twice and it's fading out on the second one. Um, live, though, um, they always, and I've watched a ton of, of live videos um, on YouTube, and I had the live record in 1985, um, and they did the same sort of thing. They've been playing the exact same ending for 30 or 40 years or whatever. Like they worked out that ending and they said, that's the ending that we're always gonna do. And they they did, um, but it's a great way to end it. And if you've ever played this song live with your band, um, try this out, right? So after that uh, speedy climb, he does this. Or something with that. This is what it is. All right, so that's the first part. Next, the chord that's going on at this point is now a G. And what he does over that G is a just a rockin' B minor Chuck Berry. Very cool. Then he brings it down. 
to a, a rooted D. Um, we're going to come back to the D now in the beginning of the chord sequence again. And what he does is a major scale climb. Right? And then he just goes back to a... You're just fretting that part of an E. Think of an E chord. And then he does this... It's only a two... Uh, two string thing um, over the G and the A and what he does is this. And then he ends it with this. So that ending one more time. That is American Girl by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. I hope you learned something new today. If you like what you saw, click subscribe if you haven't done so and ring the bell. The bell lets you know every time I do new content, which I do every single week. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this. And this is another song you want me to take on. And until next week, take care, everybody.